Hello, I'm back. Today I've got a really special treat for you. It is a busy day today. And so I'm gonna try out a trick that I learned from the secret slob. If you haven't heard of her, I'm going to link her channel down below. And I'm going to insert a clip here of her explaining what this tip is. Back with you for getting your house cleaned super fast. It's called the five by five. Every time my house gets out of control, this is what I use to get it back on track. All right, so to do the five by five, you're gonna pick five rooms in your house and set the timer for five minutes, five times. Get it? Five by five. So the first thing we're gonna do is set the timer for five minutes. I like to start in the worst room in the house. For me, that's often the kitchen. It's kind of the one that always takes the longest. Set that timer for five minutes and start hustling. Work as fast as you can to get as much as you can done in that room until the timer stops. This isn't a deep clean. This is just a quick tidy. I really like the concept of this because I get overwhelmed so easily by clutter. In her video, five minutes was nothing and it made such a huge difference. So that's what we're gonna try today. We're gonna see how far we can get in our downstairs. All right, so here's the breakdown of the five different rooms. First, we're going to start in the laundry room. I'm going to start a load of clothes, work on folding and putting away and see how much I can get done in five minutes. I think that room will take more than five minutes, so we're just gonna see how much we can get done in there. The next room, I'm counting the entryway and my office as one room because A, they're not that bad together, and B, I know both of those will probably take less than five minutes. Then, we're gonna move on to the living room. That shouldn't take too long, and whatever time's left over, I'm going to move on into the kitchen and finish out that timer then i'm going to move to the bathroom i'm kind of excited i kind of like fun little challenges like this because it it mixes it up it makes it exciting i know that i'm going to be done in 25 minutes so that helps me be less overwhelmed and intimidated you know i'm not working till it's done i'm just giving myself five minutes in each of these zones i guess you could call them and um, and then I'm letting myself off the hook. You know, it's something that you can do that's better than nothing. All I'm using for this quick cleanup is a clutter bucket to just collect clutter that needs to be put away that my children and I will do afterwards. I've got, oops, I've got my vac mop, which I think is gonna be the MVP of this because it vacuums and mops at the same time. Love that for me my dust rag and multi-purpose spray, and a dirty clothes basket for clothes that are left lying around. For things that are, for clothes and blankets and stuff that are left lying around that are due for washing. So. I usually always put on my Christian workout playlist on Spotify, you know, just to get the blood pumping. But recently I have found I also like listening to audiobooks while I'm cleaning. I'll link this one in the description box if you're interested. Also, these headphones are awesome. I have mentioned them before in my videos, but it has been a while. And these have been my favorite by far because of the sound quality. They are also noise canceling, probably a little too good at that. I usually have to wear one so I can hear whatever else is going on, you know, kids. This isn't gonna be like some of my other videos. I literally set the camera up set the timer for five minutes and just got to work and work solid for those five minutes. So there's gonna be very little, you're seeing the actual time lapse of five minutes. I genuinely thought this laundry room was gonna take me way more than five minutes. And I was pleasantly surprised that I was able to get it all done in exactly five minutes.
It takes some time, even though it's just a smile. But I hate it when I'm faking. With you all night in the body that ain't mine. Thinking I am gonna bust you. And I am falling behind. And I'm ready to go get out while we hold. Now take my advice. Take my advice. I really did enjoy this challenge of just working in each room for five minutes. I amazed myself how much I could get done in that time. It did feel like a sprint, but I'm not mad at it. That's calories burned, baby. This hack is really great if your home is just a little bit disheveled. I wouldn't recommend it if you need a deep clean. My house was like borderline. Like there was stuff crusted on the table and big chunks of stuff on the floor that the vacuum couldn't pick up. And I just had to cruise over that because I just did not have the time to put in the necessary elbow grease it required to make it better. So I did end up going back, so it's not a big deal. But I did get frustrated with myself for not being able to clean it right. You know what I mean? The ocean, the ocean, the ocean. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna leave. Leave and finally be free. Free of all our expectations. No more couple invitations. I wanna, I wanna let it go, let it go. I wanted you. I know, I know. You feel it too. That's what I get for Russian. Even though I was struggling with not being able to finish jobs and finish the rooms to completion, I was really pleased at the end of this. The space just felt clean and open and airy. That just goes to show like it doesn't have to be perfect. I could have spent that whole 25 minutes in this kitchen alone, but that would have given me a super clean kitchen and the rest of my house still needing attention. This, I was able to look back on and just be able to breathe a sigh of relief and take the rest of the day to do other things that I needed to do. I felt like I accomplished a full downstairs clean in 25 minutes. Had I just spent that 25 minutes in the kitchen, I would have still felt overwhelmed walking into my home because the rest of the rooms would have remained untouched. So if you're a perfectionist like me, I challenge you to this 5x5 five five hack. And I want to hear what you discover about yourself. Got a minute and 18 left on the clock to try and just tidy up this last little bit. I've tried to 
sometimes But you're making me nervous No, I've realized That I can't live without you Y'all let me know down in the comments what you think about this little hack. Do y'all have any other cleaning methods you would like to see me try? I'd love to hear y'all sound off down below. All right, this is a realistic look of the five by five. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Go check out Secret Slob and we will see you in the next one. Bye.